So guys, if you want to delete duplicate files, you want to head over to the link which I'm going to leave down below in the description to download Duplicate Cleaner. Or you could just type it on any web browser, Duplicate Cleaner, and then you want to go to this website. So now once you're on here, we're going to scroll down and then click on Download for Windows. Now it's downloading. Now we're just going to open it up. Click on Next. And then click on I Accept. Click on Next again. Choose where you want to install it to. Click on Next. And then click on Install. Now it's installing. You're going to click on Yes once this comes up. And now you're going to click on Finish. Which will then run Duplicate Cleaner now. So now you would have installed the trial version which lasts for 6 days. So now you're going to select your language. And then click on OK. Now once you're on this, you're going to be on the Home tab. You want to click on Scan Criteria. And then from here we have a bunch of settings that you can go through. You can choose what to find. So you have same content, similar content or ignore content. There's a bunch of options here. And you have more duplicate options right here. So you can go for same file name, same file extension, similar file names. And there's also an option for search filters. So you can go for all file extensions, any file size, any date. And you can also go for all of this as well. It just depends on what you're looking for really. And now once you're happy with all this, you want to click on scan location. If you want to search some specific folders, then you can just add a folder into here by just dragging it in. And you have it right here. If you want to remove the folder, you want to right click on it and then click on remove this folder from list. You could also search your whole downloads folder, videos folder, etc. But keep in mind that if you select your C drive and you want to search your whole C drive, this may take hours. You've also got some advanced folder search options such as skip system folders, skip hidden folders and don't follow NTFS mount points injunctions. So now once you're happy with all this, now you want to click on start scan. And this will only work if you have a folder actually selected, so make sure you have a folder selected. You want to tick find duplicate folders and then click on start scan. Now in my case there's been no duplicate files found, but in your case there may be some, which will then let you delete it. You want to click on duplicate files if it locates any, and now you can delete it from here. And then that's how you do it.